here welcome back to my channel um, sorry it's been so long since you've seen me I'm here with a brand new fresh video um, today I'll be showing you all my um, favorite products from the last couple of months especially like March April um, these are some products I've been obsessed with either used up or like repurchased um, I will have everything linked down below if you want to know where to find it um, but yeah let's just get straight into the video skincare, um, like body care, uh, oils, makeup, and um, some of the stuff I use or not. So yeah, um, let's get just jump straight in. We'll probably start, I guess, with skincare. I've been trying to focus a bit on my skincare the last couple of months. Um, I got this for Christmas. It is the Kate Somerville Goat's Milk um, Moisturizing Cream. It is amazing. Um, it's certainly not a budget friendly option, uh, but the packaging is super cute. It's like this purple, purple and silver bottle. Uh, and it has a push top lid, so you can just, um, you push up and it just squirts one pump into the top there, um, which means you don't waste anything. As you can see, I'm completely out. I was obsessed with this. It did last a really long time, um, so I probably will repurchase it. It's really gentle on the skin and really hydrating, especially if you have really dry skin. Um, so I'd highly recommend that one. It's a great product. I am really bad at sometimes not taking off my makeup, and I'm really, really trying hard um, I know there's a lot of makeup wipes on the market, but I try to use as much eco-friendly products as I can. So I've been using the Bare Naked, oh, I've been using the Bare Naked uh, Skin Wipes or Face Wipes by Josie Moran. I got these from Mecca. There's 30 wipes in there and I got this at Christmas and I'm not even through it yet. So I don't really use them that often, maybe once a week or something. Um, so remove makeup and cleanse skin gently and naturally free of fragrance. It is inf infused with aloe vera, argan oil and cucumber. Um, they are biodegradable and safe for sensitive skin, which I do have. Um, so they're really, really nice. I've got sort of like a citrusy smell to them, um, but they're really, really gentle on the skin and uh, they're big and I can just get all my makeup off with one wipe. So. I love them, they got little polar bears on there, so cute. As you can tell, I might be a little obsessed with Lush. Um, so if you do know me, I am completely obsessed with Lush. I love a lot of their products, especially like their face masks and stuff like that. Um, but I did try a couple of new products like this year, so I just wanted to go through them. This is the De Fluff. Uh, it's actually like a shaving soap, shaving balm. It's, um, this is strawberry flavored and it smells incredible. I am completely out, um, but the smell's still there. So it's kind of like a moussey texture, like definitely it's different. I was sort of like, how am I going to shave with this? But it really works well. I get like really sensitive skin when it comes to um, shaving creams. And as I've said before, I do try to um, limit a lot of chemicals um, from my life and my home. If you haven't tried the Defluff, it's a really good option. Um, yeah, at first I didn't think I'd like it, but I loved it. This elbow grease, it's a moisturizing balm. As you said, it's not just for your elbows. You can use it like anywhere with like super dry skin. Um, and it's really good for over tattoos as well. Um, but I use it on my elbows because I get very dry and brown elbows. <laughs> yes, granny, I know. Finally moisturizing. <laughs> So it's sort of like a, sh uh, I guess like a shea butter texture. It's quite hard, like a greasy. So, um, yeah, but it lasts forever. Like I'm not even halfway through and it just like melts into the skin. And it's like so hydrated. Like, you know, when you feel and it's all dry and cracky. Um, yeah, well, this really helps with that. So I try to put it on every night, but if not, I definitely do it a couple of times a week. And it's definitely helping with the dryness. So elbow grease from Lush. Also is the sleepy body lotion from Lush. This, oh my God. This is a 215 gram pot. It's a larger pot. Um, so I know I don't really use um, Lush like moisturizing creams. Um, but I had heard good things about this 
So I thought I'd try it. So it's definitely 11. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys. It smells so good. Um, um, so it's definitely got a lavender smell, but not like your normal, like, full-on lavender. It's definitely really subtle. Uh, you can. It's kind of like vanilla-y. Like very flossy, it's so sweet, it smells amazing. So I put this all over my body, um, and it really helps um, helps me like get to sleep and just wind down. Um, so I'm completely out of that. I will repurchase it. They also have like a sleepy spray. They have a couple of different products in the sleepy range. Um, if you're familiar with Lush, it is the scent of the I believe it's the Twilight bath bomb. It smells incredible. So give that one a go. I think lastly in body is, um, I just recently bought the spa range from doTERRA. So if you don't know, I am affiliated with doTERRA. Um, I use their products all the time, um, mainly the oils, but I've just started branching out into some of their other products. So I really thought I'd share them with you. So this is the exfoliating body scrub and it's incredible. It smells so citrusy, um, which is funny because usually for me, I do a scrub like in the bath or like like getting ready for a bath and I kind of have like normally more of a like a wind down scent like a sleepy kind of scent but this one's been great I've been starting to have showers like in the morning and exfoliating with this and it just like the scent just still stays on me all day it's like all citrusy and like totally like gets me ready for the day uplifting um so it's definitely got it does have um, benefits of the essential oils in here. So it's got wild orange, grapefruit, and ginger, and it's just really like citrusy. And it's lasted me for ages. It's got a really great consistency. Um, so that, and then it also they have a body butter, um, which I've been using as well. I put this all over um, except for my face. Um, it smells citrusy as well. I'm pretty sure it's got similar. So wild orange, Douglas fern, frankincense. Frankincense is amazing for the skin. So um, I did get these and I think I might get a couple um, for some friends, but they are really, really good and they smell incredible. So that's it for body. Oh my goodness. Um, there's a couple of little just random stuff in here, uh, but I will go straight to hair. There's a couple of, I got my hair cut guys. Oh my God. So I got my hair cut. Uh, I went a little bit blonder. Um, just to get rid of some of like the dead ends and um, but I really want to keep it like fresh and not dry um, so there's a couple of things I've been trying um, so I did try the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner um, so it's a protecting shampoo smoothing conditioner um, they smell incredible everything from doTERRA smells incredible so they both have um, again a citrusy kind of smell um, and just clings to your hair. So this is wild orange and lime in the shampoo and the conditioner has rosemary, um, rosemary, eucalyptus, peppermint, cedar wood, lavender. They smell incredible. They've lasted forever. I really am impressed at how long they've lasted. Um, I'm definitely going through the conditioner a little bit more than the shampoo, but I think that's every every brand I do that um, so I've been loving those and since I've been using them I've got so many compliments on my hair obviously my hair is new but about like just how healthy it looks and how shiny and yeah so I think it is definitely that because that's the only new product I've been using products I have been using for ages but repurchased is the Wella Lux oil um, so it's uh, like keratin protection oil Apply one to two pumps, distribute throughout the hair for instant lasting smoothness. Do not rinse out. Um, so I usually use it after I've like styled my hair. I use a heat protectant, style my hair, and then I put one or two pumps, mainly just like sort of through the ends. Got quite thick hair and then I'll go up into the top. And yeah, so that I have been using for maybe a year now, but I love it. It's really, really good and it lasts forever because you don't need lots of huge bottles. So, well, the Luxe Oil. 